Seems like... Boomer Sooner, everybody. My name's Harry James. It feels like every time Bill Snyder comes into Oklahoma's Memorial Stadium, it feels like they're always prepared and they're always ready. And they're always in for a tight ball game. Oklahoma finally blew them out. 51-14 to yesterday in Norman. As the Sooners tame the Wildcats. 51-14 to in Norman. Norman, stats, uh, scoring review, and play of the game, all next. Boomer Sooner 1982, don't go away. Everybody, but we're sooner. Let's tell y'all now. Let's now that's done. Let's tell y'all how we mild the wild cats. Get it? Mild, wild. <laughs> we tamed them pretty well. Uh, and I'll start with the stats board. When uh, number ten Skyler Thompson for Kansas State had only 108 yards in the air, didn't have a touchdown or an interception. However. So he didn't turn the ball over, but his longest completion was only 22 yards down the field. QB1, Kyler Murray was the leading passer for Oklahoma. Again, uh, 352 yards in the air with three touchdowns, zero picks. The longest completion of the night was one of two, tu uh, two touchdown passes to CeeDee Lamb. This one from 82 yards away. We'll talk more about that later. Leading rusher for each side will start in the Little Apple, Kansas State. At the end of the day, number 34, Alex Barnes, not a bad looking running back. Uh, 13 carries, had just 28 yards on the ground, didn't have a touchdown. His longest run of the night was for five yards. The Oklahoma Sooner running back core is deep. Really deep. And with being really deep, they called on a true freshman who led the team in rushes this week. 13 carries for number 22, TJ Pledger. To go with the 13 carries, 91 yards. Didn't have a touchdown, but his longest run of the night, 21 yards. Leading receivers for the Kansas State Wildcats and the Sooners, number 83, Dalton Schoen for Kansas State. Four catches, 47 yards, zero touchdowns. The longest completion, 22 yards. Well, Sidarian Lamb, CeeDee Lamb, uh, four catches, a buck 60, two touchdowns for the young man. 82 of the 60 were on one play. Defensively, Kansas State always has a solid defense. And they always have a solid defense because they always have a solid defender. This week it all belonged to Walter Neal Jones, Walter Neal Jr. Sorry. Junior had nine tackles, zero forced fumbles, zero fumbles recovered, zero picks tonight as a defensive back. For the Sooners defensively, linebacker Curtis Bolton, seven tackles. He also did not have a fumble forced, recovered, or interception. Kicking the ball, Blake Lynch for Kansas State, 0-0. Didn't kick a field goal, didn't try a field goal, 0%. Austin Seibert, 3 for 3 for 100%. Uh, his field goals were from 22, 27, and a long of 32. Uh, but punting, uh, number 21, David uh, Antigal for Kansas State, 7 to punts, 46.7 in average, 65 long, uh, 5 inside the 20-yard line, 0 touchbacks. For the Sibes, Austin Seibert does both kicking and punting. He had just one punt tonight for 36 yards on average, 36 along, one inside the 20-yard line, zero touchbacks. That's how we got there through the stats. 
But how did we get to a 51 to 14 final? Well, here's how it happened. And it happened early. Stick with me here. Sooner's first drive uh, ended on a 35-yard touchdown pass from QB1, future Oakland A, Kyler Murray, who finds Grant Calcutta in the end zone, uh, uh, streaking down the field for a 35-yard touchdown. 7 nothing Sooners, 12.56 left. The Sooners then had a field goal with 7.30 left in the first quarter. 30 from the 32-yard uh, out, that was the long for Seibert, to make it 10 nothing Sooners. Then, it was the 82-yard touchdown pass to Kyler Murray, or from Kyler Murray to C.D. Lamb that we were talking about. 17-7, 17 or 17-0 Sooners, a buck 35 left. As we end scene in the first quarter. Going to the second quarter, as I talked about on the Sooner Fans Podcast, you're not going to be able to hold Kansas State scoreless. You might be able to hold them down, but they're not going to be able to hold them scoreless. They're going to get on the board. They're Kansas State. And they did here with a uh, five-yard QB run from Skyler Thompson, looking a lot like Colin Klein there. And the number 10 jersey, 17-7 Sooners, however, is still in front with 10-0-3 left. The Sooners then get the touchdown that they just that Kansas State scored. They get that touchdown back with 7:29 left. Kennedy Brooks gets a three-yard touchdown run. He's in the end zone. Touchdown Sooners, 24-7 Oklahoma. The Sooners aren't done scoring yet in the quarter because with 12:15 left, QB1 Kyler Murray shows why he can run the bases in baseball for a nine with a nine-yard touchdown run. For the Sooners, 31-7 Oklahoma good guys. The good guys weren't done yet, though. After a fumble on the kickoff, Oklahoma recovers and nails a 27-yard field goal up and good with 22 seconds. Oklahoma leads 34-7. Third quarter now. Kennedy Brooks says, you know what, I'm going to go take this one to the house. And does with an 82, 86-yard touchdown run, 41 to 7. Oklahoma, they're looking okay right now. 12, uh, 29 left. That's when Kyler Murray, then Kyler Murray throws a 57-yard dart to the man, C.D. Lamb, from 80, uh, from uh, 50, 57 yards out. 48-7, Oklahoma. 8.20 left in the third quarter. Then the scoring drives kind of stalled there. But Seibert didn't stall. Because in the fourth quarter, the Sooners get one more score on the board to make it 51-7. With a 22-yard touchdown uh, field goal. Up and good. 51-7 Sooners. 12.57 left. That's when Justin Simeon, Silman for Kansas State, he wears number 32, and he runs in from 9 yards out. 51-14 Sooners with 9.54 left, and that's your ball game. The, pl the play of the games offensively and defensively is Riley's right call of the game was the 86-yard run leading the way for uh, Kennedy Brooks. Defensively, plenty of defensive plays in a... 52, uh, 51 to 14 win. Didn't score any big turnovers that I'd like to look at. So we're going to go with this play. Number three, uh, Delvin Womack. Tackled in the backfield for six yard loss by number 31, Jalen Redman. The defensive end linebacker from Midwest City who's coming back from some personal uh, blood clot issues. And in his Second game, only his second game as a true freshman. Everyone thought that he would be out for the year. Did play, played yesterday, played last week, played yesterday, uh, and caught Devin Warmack, Warmack in the backfield for a six-yard loss. Did 31, Jalen Redmond. The Sooner Boomers now head to Lubbock. Preview of that one is on the YouTube, or it will be soon. You can check
check it out, Boomer Sooner 1982 on the YouTube. Also, it'll be up on my Facebook account, Harry James Taylor, and on Twitter, at Hype Man Harry. All right, guys, every, guys, everyone have a good week. Next week, we'll be back with a Texas Tech preview, review and a Oklahoma State Cowboy preview. That's next week, guys. Till then, Boomer Sooner, everybody. My name's Harry James. Catch y'all on the flip side.